for a fortnight to go in the second round. But it is the undertaker to get us underway. We're the second round clash against the Adonis. Steve Beaton awaiting the winner. What a prize that is. Now oh, Wayne Jones first visit to the board. He's already looking to the heavens. He's a man who is forever critiquing, usually negatively, his own darts. It's a wonder he's achieved the things in the game he has when he can be so pessimistic about his own abilities at times. And he is on a roll though. It is just 140 after 140. Mm. Runner up at the European Championships back in 2010. Runner up at the World Masters way back in 1999. He's got pedigree as Wayne. Yes, just a shame that uh, he's as yet been unable to lift any of the big ones, any of the big trophies, the big tournaments that uh, reached a, a good couple of semi-finals in 2013. 16. On his way back towards the top 32. Yeah, he did go to the semi-finals of the German Darts Masters last year. Took some big scalps on the way. Michael van Gerwen and Gary Anderson. 16. Before eventually losing. And here, last year, he was the only person who really had Kim Hybrex in any trouble over the course of the whole weekend. He came very, very close. In fact, he missed, missed a dart to beat him. And uh, that was in the last 32. Lost 6-5. Kim did not look back after that. Ended up seeing off MVG in the final 6-3. But that was the only time in the whole, whole weekend that Kim Hybrex was in trouble. And those can be the sort of moments, can't they? On which tournaments can turn. Certainly was the case for Kim. And Wayne Jones looking at 153 with Kevin Thomas on 62. Well, there's a three. He's knocked off the odd three at least. Probably didn't mean to do it again. So 62. Kevin Thomas. Either 12 or 20. 20 for double 16. And the first leg on the board. Yes, good steady start by the Welshman. To take a 1-0 lead with the throw. And how can the 48-year-old from Wolverhampton respond? Six more games after this to come on the opening day of the Dutch Darts Masters here in Veldhoven. The standout won that Terry Jenkins versus Jelle Klaassen uh, match. But Christian Kist, a former world champion, Dean Winstanley, former Lakeside finalist. Vincent van der Voort, the man the crowd are singing the name of right now. He's on next against Michael Barnard. And all of this. Stream free live and worldwide through the PDC YouTube channel. Do subscribe to it. Not only get to follow all of this great action, but you get all the other stuff from all the major tournaments, all the behind the scenes stuff, all the interviews with the players, endless videos of John McDonald pestering people to find out what the PDC really is like behind the scenes. <laughs> yes, it really is a feast of, of darts for your Friday night. This new format for the European Tour with 16 first round matches all in one big session for you. Just missing the treble 17 there, Kevin Thomas. Would have given him a shot to take a 2 0 lead. Wayne Jones, treble 15 or 19. Went for 19s, missed it. So Kevin Thomas looks like he's going to get two darts for a break of throw and a 2 0 lead. looking at double top it's a long way off but that one is in that's exactly where he wanted it to be and the undertaker takes a 2-0 lead 
Yes, fantastic start for the 33-year-old. And with the throw here, if he can take advantage of it, which he didn't do there really. But uh, it could leave Wayne Jones really staring down the barrel. Well, a wayward start from both players at the start of this leg. And Jones really didn't punish uh, Thomas there at all. This is better from Thomas now. Already seen two Welshmen make it through the opening round today in Richie Bennett and Jamie Lewis. Kevin Thomas looking to make it three. But Wayne Jones has just whacked in the first 180 of the match. It's a 26, a 180 in this leg from Jones. What, uh, what else can he produce? It's a bit more like it. Jones has stolen the darts from Thomas. Looking to break back immediately, but a 140 here would give him a chance, and he's not even stayed straight. So Jones, can he do this in six darts? He may even have more than that. Looks like he may need more than that. Oh, good last dart. Now then, Kevin Thomas. Sensible to come down for the ball. Well, that's not a disaster. But it might well be a disaster if Kevin Thomas is let off the hook and capitalises. Well, there's 80, so double 15. Well, that really would have been a killer blow by the undertaker. That is it as it is. Jones still has to take out 56 here. Double 18 then to get a leg on the board. And he does it. So breaking back the throw. You know, one of those players that does like double 18. You'll hear Rod Harrington certainly <laughs> suggest that <laughs> you stay well clear of that double 18. The switch to double nine is not a very nice one. Yeah. This is a common theme of our uh, commentaries with Rod. Whenever anyone gets down to double 18 and the dreaded double nine as he calls it. And we've seen a couple of people come a cropper on it today. And it's worked for the Wanderer to get his first leg on the board. And as he said, Mike, a break of throat. But look at this. Yes, I think it wasn't until Sunday afternoon in Hildesheim that we saw somebody take out a double nine successfully. <laughs> Every time they, they got down to it, it backed up Rod's theory through the weekend as they crashed and burned. He was a wise, wise man of darts, like a tungsten owl. Rod Harrington. <laughs> Ton from Kevin Thomas, but Wayne Jones... There's a ton 40. We'll get him to an out shot. That is a perfect dart for him. He's disappointed not to follow it with a second. But look at that, ton 40. And what can Kevin Thomas hit back with? And that looks perfect for him. And similar feelings from Wayne Jones. So it's a big ask for Jones, but that's a great way to kick it off. Unlucky that final dart. Slide into the treble five. 101. Kevin Thomas, how often will these guys practice that? Well, he's gone treble. That's an absolutely bizarre shot. He's got treble 17 straight for the ball. Yes. It would appear. 
Yes, that was bizarre. That is, uh, I'm baffled that he's gone that way. That's a showboat finish for The Undertaker. <laughs> I know he's a WWE fan, but there's, there's uh, playing to the crowd, and then there's just plain madness. But he's been let off by uh, Wayne. Three for double two is the shot. Yes. Well, he got out of jail a little bit there. Uh, Dick Kevin, it could have, could have gone horribly wrong. But another break back of throw by the man from Swansea in Wales. I wonder what Wayne Jones is thinking about his opponent's choice of shot there. Trouble 17 ball. Looks good if it goes in. Just the 60 from these two, the start of the fifth leg. But this is more like it from the Swansea man. Yes, it's not really set alight yet, this match. Both players averaging around the 80 mark. I've just seen the 1 ton 80 from Wayne Jones so far. But the most important scoreline is that one underneath the legs. With Kevin Thomas in a race to six, leading Wayne Jones 3-1. See there, three out of five on the checkouts for Kevin Thomas. If you can maintain that through the course of this match, you quite fancy him to close out the victory. Certainly that ton has helped him edge towards it. As Kevin Thomas, you might have just caught him on the camera there, giving a bit of encouragement to the crowd. As they say, stand up if you love the dots. Just like continental twangs that lyrics of it Kevin will be looking to set up a, a decent finish when he returns with Wayne back on 2-1-3 well, straying into the fives good recovery on the last start so for a 4-1 lead here six ball go on Kevin <laughs> Boringly conventional, but brilliantly effective. Kevin Thomas, a 4-1 lead he now establishes against Wayne Jones. And with a second round tie against Steve Beaton, awaiting the winner. Kevin Thomas, the favorite at the moment, but that's a great way to kick off the sixth leg with a ton 40 by Wayne Jones. That's more like it. He needs to get back in the groove quickly here. Both starting off 140s. The crowd sure to ratch up the noise for the next match. Vincent van der Voort, one of the fastest players on the circuit, up against uh, the Englishman Michael Barnard. Yeah, well, in the remaining six matches, one, two, three, four of them involved Dutchmen. There's no accident. From, uh, the likes of Mr. Cox, who scheduled this, <laughs> I would think, as the evening draws on, this respectful Dutch crowd will get a little bit noisier, particularly if their heroes can do the business. We've already heard them singing the name of Michael van Gerwen, who will be in action tomorrow. This is pretty much his hometown tournament. Just getting the train from. Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam down to Eindhoven. 145 brilliantly set up by Wayne Jones. He goes straight past Boxtel. Michael Van Gerwen's hometown, not far from here. Very well supported. And the way he's playing, you wouldn't back it against him. Going a very long way this weekend. Well, that's the dart that Wayne Jones needed. Bullseye wants, and it's only a 25. Kevin Thomas 
is on a potential two darter here for a 5-1 lead. Well, he's going to need all three if he's going to do it. That leaves him double eight. And double eight is what he's got. And Kevin Thomas shows his satisfaction at that. 5-1 up, one leg away. And Wayne Jones, well, he's being buried by the undertaker. Yes, playing absolutely superbly. And kicking off what could be the deciding leg of the match with a ton 80. And we may not have seen too much of him in the past as Wayne Jones responds with a ton 80 of his own. But if he keeps playing like this, the Welshman, we're going to be seeing a lot more of him as another ton 80 comes banging in. What a leg of darts we've got here. Can Wayne Jones follow him? Can both men be on nine darters? Well, it's not going to happen with Wayne Jones, but Kevin Thomas, the undertaker, will be back. And he'll be looking at 141 after back-to-back -back 180s. Can the man from Swansea complete the perfect leg? No, he can't. <laughs> a little smile. But he set it up very, very well, and he will be back. We're for 50. And who knows? He might go out on the ball. <laughs> straight, ball for a 10 straight, darter, Mike? Yeah, for a 10 darter straight at the ball. 16. Can we do it by 50? Will he? What do you reckon? He did, he did. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Double 15 for the match. Well, what an absolutely fantastic performance for Kevin Thomas. The man from South Wales has seen off Wayne Jones and booked his place in round two where he'll take on Steve Beaton. Absolutely fantastic stuff for the Welshman. Stand by. The first round action keeps on coming here in Veldhoven. Up next, Vincent van der Voort, the local man, up against Michael Barnard of England in a couple of minutes' time. <laughs> 